So, the plan, like I was saying, for today is, um, basically I'm going to plan out the entire, I'm not giving this up to the viewers today because there's just something that I really want to work on and it's mainly because once it's done, it's done. Why, why did I log out here? I'll tell you what, we don't need to go outside, do we? Because we can use our new little network. Uh, tunnel network that goes through here. So, um, our plan today is going to be... Oh, that's nice. I might need to widen that up a little bit, but this is looking quite okay, saying that I kind of, like, pulled it together in, like, two minutes, and I really wasn't feeling it yesterday. This, this is okay. This is alright. So, the plan of action for me, I think this is how I'm going to work it. So, we go into this area in here. We have a control wall that basically says zombify, purify, right? Um, so, the idea is we will have... Do you know what? Let's start kind of like getting some plans in order. And I think signs are a really good way for me to do this because then I can kind of like figure it out. And also I knew I want to take a screenshot of that room before I start kind of repping it out because we're going to rip it out first, right? That's at least going to be the plan. Hey Buzz, how's it going? Zombies? I heard it's limited features. Um, for Kerbal 2? Yes, it is. So it's... Somebody left the door open! Uh, yeah, so it is limited features for, um... Kerbal 2, uh, the release. It is just gonna be sandbox. And pr pretty much it's gonna be a retextured sandbox version of Kerbal 1. That, that's effectively what the uh, release is going to be. However, I want there are new parts. There are different ways of doing the parts and stuff. So I want to kind of like learn all of that. Um, and I want to play it because it still looks pretty fun. Uh, and I want to be part of the beta test, if that makes sense. I, I want to be a part of that. Because that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Uh, let's take some, let's take some droppers, dispensers, minecart hoppers. I uh, don't have any normal rails. I don't think I necessarily need the normal rails, but I may as well take those. We'll take some levers. I don't know, I'm just kind of like taking a few things here. Ooh, we got a normal minecart and some normal rails. And we got some iron that I need to smelt. So let's go and smelt that iron because we're going to need a lot of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to need quite a lot of that iron. Okay. Um, signs. That's what I really want, isn't it? So that we can kind of write where I'm going to put things, what I'm going to do with things, how, where, how it's going to space and things like that, right? Is multiplayer on release? No. So there is a phased map. Um, release. Release map. Let's have a look at the release map. So, um, the first stage of release, here, I will attempt to show you this. So, the first um, a release is going to be early access. So, this is basically all the additional extras that they're adding on. So, there's going to be tutorials that you'll be able to explore the revamped Kerbola system with new parts and improved user experience. So this is going this is what we're going in for first. And then the next part, um, the next kind of stage in the release after we've kind of done early access is going to be science mode. So that'll be science gathering, tech tree progression, and I would also imagine that there's going to be the um, the uh, uh, what do you call it? 
um, career mode is going to be available and all, all of the additional stuff. So that's very similar how to, to how Kerbal 1 was released in those two stages, right? Alpha and beta. I, I believe science is going to be beta. So this is the early access alpha build. This is your beta build. Um, then... Then they're going to start work on colony parts and orbital vehicle construction, which is something brand new to Kerbal 2. So it's only going to be in like the third part of the release when you're going to be getting things that is going to be unique to Kerbal 2, really. That and some of the parts are going to be unique as well. But for the most part, like the, the, the colonies is... Um, for me, actually, the thing that I'm most excited about is being able to do orbital construction uh for vehicles is like on a bit grand scale i that is exciting for me like if you have to kind of like maybe ship the raw materials in your launches from the launch site up into space and then just build things i think that's pretty cool right then we could have uh then we go into stellar so this will be new star system uh stuff that will be added in into stellar scale parts and that sort of thing so that'll be phase four phase five will be exploration um so the interstellar stuff there's going to be a second star system that we'll be able to travel to the deb 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 system um, then the exploration will be another new star system uh, and also resource gathering. Now, the resource gathering, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed that that's not way down here. But that might be interstellar resource gathering, I'm not quite sure. They've not been very clear on what resource gathering means. Uh, so we'll find out, we'll find out. And then we have multiplayer. So multiplayer comes like dead, dead, dead last. They plan dates for these phases. No. Uh, the only planned date is the early access. So I, I would imagine it's going to be a couple of years before we get to multiplayer. Um, but I mean, that's game development, right? The, the, the They made a very, very, very big mistake. Uh, Kerbal 2 did. Um, they released that teaser trailer, what, like three years ago? Was it? No, four years ago, right? It was it was about 2019 when they released that trailer, and it looked amazing. But they didn't have anything. They didn't have a product. They didn't have anything. Then COVID happened, so they had to, like, completely stop for a year. And then the company that was making it kind of, like, got bought out or got merged, sorry, sorry with Squad. Um... And, yeah, so they had a lot of problems and issues. Yeah, they keep changing the companies, so it's like concept and concept and concept. Okay, so the companies that own um, the development have changed, yes, but it's all the same people. So the developers are all the same. It's just the company, the overheads, the people that are paying them, that is the thing that keeps changing, and that's the side back because they keep getting, like, different amounts of funding here and different amounts of funding there and i think they've realized that really before any of this was announced they should have had a product to be able to put into early access so they should have announced it and then like a year later put it out on early access and have it ready so that people can start playing it and feed it back which is kind of what they're trying to do now and unfortunately i mean there was unforeseeable events that happened uh in the world globally and yeah, I mean, there's also economic problems and all, all sorts of stuff that have had setbacks. But I mean, I guess that's that. I mean, that's life, right? You have setbacks for everything. Look at Starship, right? Starship's had a hell of a lot of setbacks. SLS, that's had a lot of uh, setbacks, but it still's got going. Um, you know, SLS is launched now. Starship is nearly ready for orbital, but I mean, it's been nearly ready for orbital launch for like the last year and a half. So like. It, it's difficult to say, poor SLS. Well, I mean, it's it's uh, now a functioning and um, flight-proven rocket. It's flight-proven. Granted, only one, but that was that was you know. But you kind of get what I'm saying. So I mean, like, this is the roadmap to Kerbal Two. This is what I'm excited for early access. The reason why I'm excited for it is because there's a roadmap before. 
so this roadmap was only kind of announced. Um, I think it was back in December, maybe November. This roadmap was only announced in November. So it's like from that initial trailer to the announcement of the roadmap, we've had very little information because there hasn't really been that much, from what I can tell, being done. I don't know. I don't know. That That's that's the most frust frustrating thing is the fact that we don't know what's been happening. We don't know what this is going to be. We don't know what the early access is going to be. And uh, I, I have this fear that that original trailer, which was beautifully made, um, was more to get people excited so the company um, could get funding. I think that's what was happening. So, yeah, it's, um, it is it is happening. Uh, this will be next week when it comes out. Uh, hey, Sean, how's it going? You want to show me a clip? You won't believe what is happening. What sort of clip are we talking about? I'm very dubious about hitting clips on, <laughs> on stream. <laughs> Um, what sort of thing, what, what, what sort of thing? The legend of Danny Rick? Uh-oh. <laughs> is this gonna be, is this gonna be, um, I'm very hesitant to slag off Danny Rick because I'm a McLaren fan. However, he did a terrible job last season and the season before. What is this? I can't see, for whatever reason, I can't see where Danny Rick is. Oh, he's in an Alpine? Why is he in an Alpine? <laughs> Lapped cars need to overtake. Wait a sec. No. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. And he crashes under the safety car. Oh no. Oh no, that's so tragic. <laughs> hey Sean, how's it going man? <laughs> There's something more? Is there more? Is there more to it in the end? Wait, what happened? Oh, it stopped the safety car and it caused a red flag. For goodness sakes. <laughs> Oh, things to do. Lurk for a while. Okay, no worries, Buzz. Uh, see, see you in a bit. D&D um, &D is in three hours, just so you're aware. Uh, deja vu, right? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, why is that? Okay, we'll get rid of that now. So, yeah. Um, that is Kerbal Space Program 2. That's what is going to be in early access as of Friday, I believe. There's potentially more stuff um, that we'll also get. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so what we need to do, we need to figure out um, the placement of these. But my lander will be like, uh, can someone help me with the debris in the car on the other side? Oh, I miss Burt my lander. He was a, he was he was a good. He's a good um, safety car driver. Have you ever seen Bert Mylander My actually do um, perform in races and stuff? Because he used to be a racing driver. Um, what did he do? What did he race in? I, cause he did, I'm sure he did. DTM, that was it. He he was a racer for Mercedes DTM, uh, 2001 to 2004. So he, he did he did a lot of DTM races and stuff. Where he was pretty good. I didn't expect the safety car to stop. No, me neither. <laughs> but uh, I mean that just shows you how good that game is, right? Because it, it it is very buggy. That's the problem. Okay, so what do we need? Um, Okay, I'm going to take the signs that I've got, and we're just going to, like, kind of place down everything that I want to make for the, um, 
for the zombifying machine. All right, this is where the zombifying machine is going to go. I'm something else I'm going to do. I'm just going to screenshot this real quick. And the reason for that is because we're going to rip out pretty much all of this. There's an area behind there for redstone and stuff, but there'll probably be an area in there that I'll need for redstone. So, I'm thinking, this is going to be a big, big room, right? We've got a drop-down thing from here where villagers will live. So, this is going to be villager breeder drop-down. I always forget that you have limited amount of whatever. So villager breeder drop down, and then this is going to be villager loader. Okay. Then from here, it will need to go to a stop station here. So this will be villager stop. And Right there, I think, is where the zombie's gonna go. Zombie placement. Uh, so we've got a little bit of space behind here, but I'll probably pull that out for the redstone anyway, alright? Uh, maybe that doesn't work. Now, the next question is... If I have, maybe I should have a job block swapper. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I feel like I want to write a list of everything that I want. So, we want button controlled, um, redstone activated. Redstone activated Villager breeder so that that is gonna go up in the top there, right? So I want to by standing here hit a button and then it feeds out the exact amount of carrots Then that creates exactly one villager. All right, so I need to figure that out. So that's redstone activated villager breeder. That needs to be from here. So breeder villager, hit a button, right? Next is gonna be capture, um, put a ca villager in mine cart, right? So then the villager, which will be in this holding tank down here, uh, you hit a button and then that villager immediately goes into a mine cart, right? So that's part two. Part three is villager stops at zombie, zombie inert. Okay, so the reason why the zombie is inert, right? So then the villager goes from, say, somewhere here, then to maybe like about here or something in a minecart. And the zombie can't reach the villager. It stops, the villager stops, but the zombie cannot reach it, cannot zombify. Because some of the zombies that come through, uh, some of the villagers through here, um, will potentially not need to be zombified, right? Uh, so, zombie is inert. So then we can have an if zombifying hit button to active activate zombie right if zombifying hit button to activate zombie and Splash potion weakness. So I want that all in one button, right? So you hit the button, the zombie pops up, it immediately like goes bam, num, 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 nice and quick. 
and then splash potion of weakness now we might need to put a big delay on this because I don't know how quickly zombies zombify villagers we'll have to do some tests with that I think if you give them like a super strong mega amazing sword they'll do it like instantaneously so if it's like sharpness 5 sword or something like that they will zombify very very quickly so that's um, diamond that would be so that's the splash potion of weakness right we then manually actually after that splash potion of weakness when the splash potion of weakness is triggered the zombie needs to become a nerd zombie becomes inert okay so we've got if zombifying hit button to activate zombie splash potion of weakness uh, zombie becomes inert and then manual manual golden apple from chat storage nearby now I'm also thinking that potentially what we could do there is we could get the golden apple to be dispensed on us so we don't have to carry it around with us and that can be dispensed at the same time with that button right so from storage nearby would mean that that so in with one hit with one hit of a button the the villager gets zombified the um the the zombie becomes inert again and then splash potion of weakness uh apple is dispensed for us so we can use it right so that all happens there and then that should cycle round so we can do this a, a, an unlimited amount of times right then that is gonna lead to this next bit here right so we need a separate button Button to send villager to storage. Right, okay, so then that means that pretty much we've got one, two, three buttons, right? Are you going to automate the potion making? Yeah, so the potion, no, not the potion making, probably not. Well, probably eventually. Um, eventually I will automate the potion making absolutely buzz I don't have an ingredient farm though nearby um, but basically what I'll have is probably like an input chest here and it will link up to all these different areas so basically if we put in splash potion of weakness oh that's gonna be difficult to do though because they don't stack So what are all the items that we need in this? Uh, we're going to need the golden apples because I want those to be in storage here. Job blocks. Oh, that makes this bit more complicated. So really, the villager stops at the inert zombie. There needs to be a job block there. An interchangeable job block so that we can choose get their jobs ready before the zombification if that makes sense oh this has just made it a little bit more complicated hasn't it so I'm thinking the storage tank needs to be up there the villager drops down into an area here uh, that can access the job block that I placed down and then we just have like a chest here full of all the different job blocks that we're gonna need right and then we like can get take it away get at it take it away at it get, take it away depending on what we want really get out of here where did you even come from up there maybe a 
There we go. That should be enough light so that nothing else spawns. I feel like something could spawn right here, though. Hopper under job block might be good to prevent loss. If it pops somewhere, you can't grab it. Not a bad idea. We could do that. Yeah, and then, then that could feed back into the storage, maybe. I mean, realistically, you only need, like, one of every type of job block, right? So you can probably do it with a hopper and then maybe attached to a barrel. And you just grab it from the barrel, place it down on the hopper. Um, the... Um, the villager decides on its job. If you don't like its trade, you can just swap it out, kind of thing. But then the that might become annoying, though, because then it might just automatically be pulled into the hopper before it goes into your inventory, kind of thing. No block places in vanilla, no. No, that, that, that all has to be manual. No, I think I'll just have a barrel nearby and... Just stand on the item as I destroy it, because it should go into your inventory. Okay, so, yeah. Then they always want to be fishermen. Well, they'll be the the barrel will be out of reach from the villager, right? Because the villager will be in a um, a minecart. What we need to do is uh, the stopping station there. There only needs to be one acceptable job block right next to it, so that the villager. In fact, I'm not even sure that villagers will pick up job blocks when they're in minecarts. I think they do. I think I've done it before. Yeah, they will. Yeah, but it's like, I, I feel like I have had issues with it in the past, where they haven't, like, necessarily picked it up exactly when I wanted it to be picked up, if you know what I'm saying. Probably not. Ah, oh, that's a lot of copper there. I had a villager in a cart and put a job block, one diagonal, from it, and it was instant. One diagonal. Yeah, I mean, that might be the... what we want here. So let's just capture a villager. I'm going to do a test. Oh, I hate villagers, man. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them! Uh, I don't have anything to entice the villagers either. <laughs> trapped. <laughs> Got the other villager, the one that I wasn't really that bothered about getting, but sure, whatever. Okay, you... Just, just borrowing you for a sec, okay? Yeah, that'll be easier. We'll go that way. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so there's no other job blocks around. I need to go and get a few job blocks real quick. So I'll be back. Let's put him in that corner there, actually. We'll put him in that corner, because that's kind of how he's going to be stored. He's going to be in a corner like that, right? And then the, the zombie will be, like, here. And it'll go yum, 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 yum kind of thing. 
And then I'm thinking the zombie will be stuck with a piston here, so he shouldn't be able to reach it. The piston pops up, and there will be a slab above the zombie so he can't escape. Always had problems getting one guy out of the room. Out of a f room full of them. Um, so, yes, uh, I've had that problem as well. Um, I think what I'm going to do uh, with the villagers, they will all be stood in like a, a one by one block like this kind of thing. Just, they, they will just all stand on a block. And then in that corner there, there will be a dispenser that fires off a minecart uh, that picks up the zombie. Uh, or picks up the villager, or it kind of like runs through underneath a slab or something there, right? And then that, then it will automatically pop into the, into the minecart. Uh, that's how I've done it in the past. Force them into like a one block thing and then just fire a, uh, fire a minecart. Or I wait, no, that doesn't work. You have to fire. You have to like force them into like the very corner, the very corner of somewhere, and then have the minecart on the other side of the corner, because then their hitboxes hit the minecart's hitbox, and um, they automatically jump in. But I uh, will. We'll come to that. We'll come to that in due time. There's no. There's no rush on that one. Ow! Fuck it. My uh, eczema's getting bad again. Um, what do I need? I want some job blocks. Sure, smithing table. Okay, so my question is, will you pick up that job block? No. Will you pick up that job block? No. So, annoyingly, they will not. When they're on... So, annoyingly, they will not pick up the job blocks. That was what I was afraid of. He's, he's not aligning himself with any job block at all. Unless, what time is it? That might be why. It's getting too late, so he won't. Does it have to be a work time? I don't think it has to be a work time. But it could be. Could be the fact that it's getting late in the day. There we go. Hey, Discant, how's it? Cat wants a fish. I don't have any fish. He can wait. It's raining outside. It's very depressing. Okay, let's see if this works now. So, the moment I place down this job block, I want him to pick up the job, like, immediately. But he's not even acknowledging that it's a thing, look. He's not even, like, tracking to it at all. I think that's because he's on the rails, so that's making him, like, a fraction too tall. If I drop that down... Still nothing. Maybe you do have to wait, then, for work times. Ah, dear. I hate villagers so, 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 so much. I'm curious. I'm curious. 
Okay, it's got to be to do with the time of day, because none of the villagers are trying to t do it. Okay, so it's... Oh, wait, no, he was. He was pathing to it, right? Yeah, they're pathing to it, so they are selecting... They are selecting the job blocks. He's not a nitwit, no. Oh, there he goes. He went straight away. Okay, so it, it is a time of day thing. Yeah, it's a time of day thing. Okay. That's okay. So he will he will select the job. So all we have to do, place down the job block right here. And then that's okay. Uh, we don't need glass here anyway. We don't need to, like, wall that off. The zombie is what needs to be locked in there. Right, that's the important bit. As long as that zombie is locked in there, then we're good. Okay. This was a good demonstration on how to... Oh, I hate myself. This was a good demonstration on how to plan. You have served my your purpose, now you may go. You, you may go back to your villages. Oh, I hate you so much. Get back in there. There you go. You are free. You are free! Okay. Still snow over there at the moment? Where Buzz is? Wait, was the snow in Texas? Buzz? Did I miss something? Be impressive if there was snow in, in Texas. Once this year, interesting. Wow. I wouldn't have expected that. I know it's been cold in America, but snow in Texas is ridiculous. Maybe twice, but only once at your house. You get snow? Interesting. I didn't know that. We don't. You get more snow than we do. I don't know why people think we don't. We don't get any snow. <laughs> It's because you're so southern, like, it's southern area, although I suppose you're not, like, built up, built up kind of thing. Like, there's a lot of, like, open area. So, yeah. Actually, yeah. It snows, like, every year. Does it really? Interesting. Yeah, we, we haven't had snow, I don't think, this year. We haven't had snow in a long time. Not proper snow. We've had, like, flurries, but not, like, snow, snow. coffee okay so the jump block system does work which means that we can potentially park the villager like say here right so th this is where the villager is so villager villager place right and then just behind it is where the zombie is zombie place cool then that means that the uh, the the holding tank for the for the villagers can be like right up in there kind of thing and then all we need to do is like yeah we i need to do some experiments on this actually because i want to make sure that it will work um this is going to be a diagonal right but basically i want the track to come out from here and then come down kind of thing do we want to see where the villagers are being stored? Maybe. Okay, so the villagers, so this would be glass, I guess. The villagers themselves would be, like, inside there, right? So that's why the villagers would be standing. And then, I'm just going to get this, because I can't. So the villagers would be, like, say, standing here. You've got a... Actually, maybe it's one block lower. So the villagers are standing here. You've got a glass column there, 
And then right next to it, on that part, is where the rails go, right? So rail, 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 going into there. Ooh, no, that can't work. That can't work. That, that cannot be how that works. It's got to go and drop down. The rail has to drop. And we'll make, obviously, we'll make this look a lot nicer. The rail has to drop there. Why does the rail have to drop? Uh, because this block needs to activate a the rail standing here. So actually, I want this to be higher. The villager needs to stand here. Uh, they need to drop into... Into that. That's going to be a powered rail on that piece there. I'm just kind of like templating it right now. So this is why we template. So, that, so basically the idea is... You can do it with me as in the minecart, right? So, we've got the villager. He gets in the minecart, which I have broken. We've got the villager. He goes in the minecart. He goes off at tremendous speeds and then drops. Okay, so hold on. Ooh, I do. Cool. I just want to see if this will actually work. Is the minecart in the correct place? Yes, it is. Okay, excellent. So this is where a piston would be. Uh, I think I've got a piston in my inventory, right? Yes, I do. Uh, once that is powered, that stands up. There needs to be some form of... Uh, there'll be a slab there, I think, so that the villager cannot escape. Pocket piston? Yeah, I got a pocket piston. So, yeah, that's that's kind of like what we're looking at, right? Um, and then, obviously, you've got your redstone guffins behind there, so we'll have to take that out. I also, I've also, of course, would want to make that look nicer um, and a little bit more structured. There would be um, more powered rails here. Which I don't have any more powered rails. That's fine. We can make some. Yeah, so there would be some more powered rails at the drop. But yeah, that that's effectively the drop right there. Nice and simple. Um, this is the piston that the villager stands on. We need... Now, in the past, because I've done this before, did I have the villager standing on a slab and then like the slab above his head so that he couldn't get out or did I just have him standing on do you know what would be really cool um, put him on a sticky piston uh, not, not a, st a honey block but then you'd have to Make sure the honey block could extend and retract, so you would have to surround the honey block with like furnaces or something. Okay. 
Right, and on, on this wall here, you would have three, three switches. So that would activate the... Uh, I probably wouldn't do these sort of switches. I would probably do either buttons or we could make it look really mechanical and we could do um, we could do comparators facing into pistons and it sends out a pulse because uh, with observers, I think that that would look really cool actually. Uh, let's see if we've got any comparators lying around. Possibly not. Uh, I might do... Um, do I have a redstone box yet? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, that's going to be a project of mine. Is making up a redstone box. Maybe that's what we could do today. Maybe we could, like, figure out exactly what we want in our Go Anywhere redstone box. Because looking through all of my junk chests for redstone that I've just got knocking around is quite annoying. Maybe that's what we can do after we finish planning uh, this out. Because I'm not actually building this today. I just want to make sure I know what I need redstone-wise so that we can go and collect all the redstone. Um, comparators. I don't have any comparators. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so annoying. I don't have any comparators. I've got, I've got to have some somewhere, surely. I use comparators all the freaking time. Ah, oh, there's no comparators. <laughs> I don't want to craft them up. We might be getting some, but the news always says we might be getting some, so I guess it will turn out whether it, we do or not. Yeah, they do always say that. Do I have some comparators in this junk? I do have a few comparators in there. That's seriously all I've got. I've got some... I've got like five comparators. It's fine. Right. I'm going to create a redstone shulker box. That That's going to be my main focus I've decided for today because this is ridiculous. So, Chen, what should I put in my redstone shulker box? Like, go anywhere backpack redstone box. What do I need? Definitely need... At least a stack of observers. That's going to be rule number one. At least a stack of comparators. But anyway, my point is that here we can... No. No. We can do this just to demonstrate that it activates a pulse, right? So activate to pulse. Nice and simple. That can be our control system. So we've got like a little table here with like one, two, and three kind of thing. And then we can like activate our things with the comparators, right? That looks really cool. I like that as a, as a button. Now, obviously when we do that, I'll make it so the redstone signals at the back kind of don't collide with each other, obviously. Redstone as blocks. <laughs> yeah, obviously we're gonna have redstone in the redstone box. Pistons observe a stack of wood stone for switches and pressure plates. That's a that's a good shout actually. I always forget like a stack of wood and stone. Stack of wood, stack of stone, maybe cobblestone as well, so we can craft up some more if we need it. Quartz, that's a good shout. What do I use? What do I use a lot? So I use a lot of comparators. So we need a lot of comparators. We need a lot of repeaters. We need a lot of redstone torches, sticks. That might not be a bad idea. Well, that can come under the um, under the wood, right? I'd put components and a crafting table. Components and a crafting table. I feel like if I'm pre-make, because the, there are some things that I use a lot of. For instance, dispensers. I use these a lot, but they are a pain to craft up because you need a bow for every single one. So I'm thinking we just go around mob hunt, get a load of really, really shit worn away bows and craft up a stack of these. You know what I mean? Um, droppers as well, right? Like, like have a stack of these pre-made ready to go. Right, this is what we're doing today. I've, I've decided. To, this is all in aid, of, in aid of this project. I'm not procrastinating. This is something that we need to do to get this project online. 
Uh, we're gonna create a list. Let's go and create a list, and then we're gonna go hunting for all of these different things. Um, we're gonna see how far we can get in our redstone shulker box creating thing. This is something I should have done the moment we got re um, we got freaking shulker boxes. The moment. The actual moment we got shulker boxes. Rails, rails, rails. Usually I do rails as a separate box, but um, I think for a beginner's box, because this is going to be a beginner's redstone box. This isn't like complex redstone. Uh, this is a beginner's redstone box, so like hoppers would definitely be in there. Um, but we've only got well, so in a let's make it, let's make the shulker box itself. So we've got what twenty? Is it twenty-eight slots available? Uh, let's get some red dye because I have to. I have to make my redstone redstone box red. All right there we go. Redstone shulker box. So. The obvious. Let's do the obvious. We want redstone dust and blocks. Bits of both, right? I want bits of both. We definitely want repeaters, comparators, pistons. Now, do we want pistons and sticky pistons, or do we just do pistons and slime? We definitely want slime. I don't have that much slime. That's going to be difficult to get because we don't have a slime farm. Um, I definitely would like slime and honey because they're good with uh, doors and stuff. Comparators we've got in there. Um, hoppers, dispensers, droppers, and observers, right? So that's kind of like the first row. I'd take slime, as might want to get sticky components to move. A book to keep track of what you <laughs> missed and now need. Yeah, I know, right? A book. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I think that top row is pretty much the bog standard. This is what every redstone box needs. Um, I think, Buzz, you're right. Maybe we should do rails as well, right? So we'll have normal rails, detector rails, um, powered rails. Those are probably the only three types, because I don't really ever use activator rails, ever. Legitimately cannot think of anything to do with that. Target blocks. I do use target blocks a lot. Lecterns, that's a good one. Lecterns. I don't... I do... I, actually, you know what? You're right. I use lecterns a lot. Um, because they're very, very good at condensing down uh, an exact amount of a redstone signal you want to output onto a comparator. They're really good at that. I use redstone... I, I, use, I use lecterns all the time. In my redstone contraptions. Item frames. I tend not to use too many item frames um, in my redstone stuff. I have recently. Like, it's about as infrequent as, say, like, um, tripwire hooks, right? Like, I don't really use tripwire hooks. Daylight sensors. Again, not something that I really use that often. Daylight sensors. I mean, we could put them in there. So we wanted raw components. I think that's more important. So let's get some raw components. So let's say we're going to have a stack of planks. It doesn't matter what type of planks. Uh, so let's just go... Chests. I'll tell you what, um, we're really going to break this down. We're going to use logs. We're going to use a stack of logs in there. Not the wood, the logs. Because you can always break down the logs and turn it into other components and stuff, right? Torches. We don't have any redstone torches on there at all. 
Something I, again, always, always, always uses redstone torches. Red lantern? Red lantern? What's a red lantern? Do you mean the torch? Um, I'll tell you what we do use though. The, yeah, oh, the redstone lantern. Yeah, yeah, I do use those a lot. And note blocks as well. Um, ba -ba 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 Got some glowstone there. Yeah, I, I do use that a lot. I use it so much, actually, that I don't have any left. <laughs> because I use them in my door contraption. They're really useful as well, because they transmit redstone signals really easily. I want a target block as well. Uh, well, let's make the target block first, because that's quite tricky to make, I believe. You need a lot of wheat. It's one whole... Hey, Bell. So, target block. I have been using target blocks. Right. Down here is where I'm going to put... Oof. This is a big ask, but, like, having a stack of a block of iron is... <laughs> I don't think... Because that should work. Then probably like say a stack of cobblestone uh, for crafting stuff, um, a stack of normal stone for crafting things, and because I like to use smooth stone in my redstone, we will say a stack of smooth stone for like the power blocks so that I can easily identify when I've put- actually I tend not to do that anymore, I tend to use the wool. I'm, I've been using the colored different wool for different circuits so that we can determine different circuits. So I won't put that one in. Um, let's just empty my inventory because I've got way too much crap knocking around. Uh, I've got a lot, so much copper left. Good. I needed it. I needed it. And the iron can go away as well. I need to stop. Actually, I might have enough iron here to be able to make a stack of a block of a stack block of iron <laughs> nested shulker box um well this shulker box is going to go into my ender chest right uh da -da 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 -da. now i have never used them but skulk sensors are absolutely a thing i've never used them and Here's the problem. On this save, I've not found um, a uh, a place where Skulk would be. So, I'm not going to add Skulk sensors onto here, but they would be really useful. I, I'll be honest, I don't really know how they entirely work. <laughs> Do you know what? I am going to have a stack of sticky pistons as a separate thing to slime blocks because I use slime blocks independently to sticky pistons right so we will have like some slime blocks now slime in itself is going to be really tricky for me to get hold of like there's just no more explaining needed for that I don't have a slime farm and they are few and far between uh, the slimes are at the moment. So I really, like, I'm actually really legitimately struggling with uh, slime. Okay, so this is kind of a good going. Is there anything I'm missing from here? What did we say? So we, we, we do have room for daylight sensors if I wanted to put that in. Item frames, probably, probably a better idea uh, for item frames. Because I, I don't necessarily use them that much. But... You know, um, could be useful, could be very useful indeed. Uh, I'm going to need, like, I will say that that's an item frame for the time being. Washing magma cream uh, to slime with bucket of water is a vanilla thing. Is washing magma cream to slime with a bucket of water a thing in vanilla? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, what else do we need component-wise? Is there anything that we can kind of think of 
that I'm missing here. Right, so some of these I can fill already because I've already got the... I've already got the amount that I need. Uh, oak logs as well, we can take those out, we can put those in there. The hoppers are going to be difficult to get. A full stack of those. So we need some more redstone by the looks of it. Um, yeah, we're going to need a lot more redstone. Uh, we need leather. I am going to break down which grows the easiest. Probably the jungle. I can probably get hold of that really, really quickly. So we'll take the jungle logs. I'm going to break that down to the sticks that I needed for the stack of item frames. There we go. And I will keep the item frames in there because I don't use item frames that much, but they could be useful. Hey, animal, how's it going? I'd suggest having a little spare space to shove leftovers in. Uh, maybe minecart if you're doing tracks as well, but I'd suggest another shulker for rails. Yeah, I'm thinking another shulker for rails, but I mean, this is kind of like the beginning of our redstone box. It will expand into two redstone boxes. I've always done two. Um, box one for like multiple observers and all of that sort of stuff, because I get through those really quick. So, so you have like... Uh, everything in this top row up there probably would be in one shulker box. Actually, maybe not these two. Maybe, wait. Um, so it would be, it's usually all of this uh, in like one shulker box, right? Um, probably droppers and dispensers. So I, I would only have a stack of dispensers, but two stacks of droppers. And then three stacks of target blocks, three stacks of observers, three stacks of sticky pistons, three stacks of pistons, three stacks of comparators, three stacks of uh, repeaters, three stacks of torches, and three stacks of hoppers. That's one shulker box. That's what I normally have, right? The second is basically everything else kind of thing, and then space for, like, crafting and stuff. And then the third is going to be rails, right? So rails always is on its own. Like, that's a separate shulker box that doesn't come under redstone in my head that doesn't come under redstone so i have two redstone boxes and then one um rails box but we're not doing that um we're just kind of like doing the rudimentary basic redstone shulker box something that i will need a lot of <laughs> Uh, you reckon spruce for the big ones is easiest. The reason why I don't want to do spruce at the moment is because the big ones create podzol and I don't want my grass to turn into podzol. Extra maintenance. So that's why I'm doing it with jungle, right? I believe this is from my own uh, kind of workings out that jungle, the 4x4 jungle gives the most amount of wood. Because you also have the branches on the jungle. And it's pretty much the same trick as what you've just said. Um, but without the podzel. And you don't even need ender pearls for it. If you let the jungle grow, it drops vines eventually for you to be able to climb up to the top nice and easy. So you don't even need the ender pearls for that. So that's why I'm doing jungle. Because it's the e it is the easiest one to come by. The problem with jungle is you potentially can run out of saplings, right? But if you have a fortune um, hoe to get rid of the leaves, they'll drop. They'll drop fine, so there's nothing to worry about. Those branches are pain. They are a little bit of a pain, but uh, it gives you more, more wood. And you're getting rid of all of the leaves anyway with the hoe, right? So you get rid of all the leaves first. 
and then mine the branches. Gives you more wood. So yeah, that's why that's why I went with jungle there. I tend not to have like a stack of levers, but I will put the levers in there. Because I do use levers, maybe not necessarily in the actual contraptions themselves, but when I'm designing contraptions, if I want to design a contraption in survival, I use the levers to kind of see what routes need to be programmed first, right? What signal needs to come up. So that 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 redstone line, then this redstone line, and then this redstone line. You can do that with the levers, right? You can mark, mark it out. Uh, fortune hoe to get saplings more than a fortune act. No, the actual fortune is exactly the same buzz, but the hoe, uh, the hoe chops down the leaves. Uh, it's an insta mine with the hoe, whereas the axe it takes a minute. I shall show you uh, if I've got some bushes. I do. We have two, for example. Okay. This was added a while ago, uh, 1.17 I want to say. So there's your fortune hoe, and then the axe, right? Uh, I don't have a fortune axe, but I'm like the drop rate for the saplings are the same. They're increased by like I think it's five percent for a fortune three hoe, but fortune three hoe, um, that's instant, whereas the axe takes like two seconds to break, if that makes sense. So it's not an instant mining thing with the axe, because it's not the correct tool. Also, spruce sapling straight away just even more proves the point that the hoe is better. It's, it's instant mining. It's like the shovel on dirt kind of thing. I don't need that. Didn't need to pick that up. It's the, yeah, it, it, it's the same concept as a shovel on dirt. There you go, already grown. Nice. That grew very quick, that tree did. Okay, so are we happy with this block select selection? I've got five extra gaps so we can add other things in there okay so now we need to start filling this what should we work on first what's the most difficult thing to get probably the dispensers so let's work on the dispensers first right now i do have one two three four now the dispensers themselves one two three that's three stacks there i need Uh, wait, 64 divided by 9, what is that? I, that's not a number that I can work out. I should know that off the top of my head. It's 8, it's 8. That gives you a stack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, with some change. Yeah, there's your change. Um, so that's your stack... Wait a sec, I need a lot more cobblestone than I have. I don't have the cobblestone. Okay, so we're going to go and mine up some cobblestone then. Yeah, 7.111, yeah, so it's it's 8 with some change. Water bucket. We need some cobblestone. Do you know what I might actually need? I might need to make a cobblestone generator. But that is going to be slow. Um, wait, no, we don't need a cobblestone generator. We just need a normal stone generator and change the pick. Just have a different pick because cobblestone takes longer to mine than stone. So just make a stone thing and turn it into cobblestone. Uh, so stone generator. How do you make the stone generator? Is that water first, then lava? Or is it lava first, then water? Which one needs to go on top of each other for the stone generator? Lava on top of flowing water for the stone. Okay, sure. I... Do you know what? 
don't think I've ever made a stone generator. But that's what we're going to do because I want to get... I, I want to get... Uh, how many more stacks do we need? So we need... Uh, four more stacks of cobblestone. From above works best above the flow of water. Wait, backwards? Might be backwards. Don't know. We'll 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 find out. I don't know. Don't listen to me. <laughs> um, actually, before I go, I am gonna just nip to the loo real quick. So before we, before we do make this um, cobble generator of sorts, um, I'm gonna nip to the loo. So I'll be back in a sec. I am back. Sorry about that. Really needed to nip to the loo then. So okay, so let's get um cobblestone generator going. Uh, or stone generator. I think no you're not back. I think How far forward can I mine from standing in a single spot? One, two, three, four, five. So I, I, I need five lava sources, which is fine. So we need one, two, three, four, five. There are loads of sticks in here. Let's turn them into emeralds. Yes, animal, it does, but uh, I've got a idea in my head how I'm going to make this work, so bear with me. We're doing redstone with Womble. Plus, I've got a freaking uh, lava generator here. I may as well use it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's really not a problem. We've not... We're not going to struggle. Redstone with Womble, yeah. Uh, we're not going to struggle with the lava because, you know, I've got unlimited lava at this point. Well, not within reason, right? Uh, let me just get rid of, like, some of my junk in my inventory. Uh, iron, I don't currently need that. Uh, I'm going to put the minecart hopper in the redstone box for the time being. Why are the campfires in there? Why do I have, like, random things? I kind of understand the soul sand. But I don't know why I have everything else in there. Okay. Um, bu 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 bu. One, two, three, four, five. And we also need water as well. I've got another lava bucket there. I need a water bucket though. I've got a plain bucket. I reckon there's a water bucket in here maybe? I've got a bucket of axolotl. I'm not using my axolotl. It's too dangerous. Okay, that will have to do. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Duck and cover now, you can still get out of here. Oh, it, this is going to be makeshift redstone. This is not. This is not going to be like an efficient farm. I just want to... Um, I'm trying to think where we could put this. Maybe just up here, maybe out of the way up here kind of thing. I feel like this is where all the small little tiny farms are going anyway. Uh, yeah, let's put it here. Yeah. Or we could put it here, maybe? I don't know. feel like I'm spending too much time deciding where to put this thing instead of actually building it. So let's just build it and we'll put it here where I wanted it in the first place. Okay, so let's put that down. Um, so... B. 
because I think Buzzer is right here. Um, let me get some glass, if I've got glass in here. Don't have any glass, that's a little bit concerning. Do signs burn? I think they do. I'm gonna test it. Actually... Let's put that there for the time being. Hold on. Nope. Signs do not burn. Okay. Good to know. Which means that I can watch this work then. Because we can... I have no more signs left! Uh, gate posts do burn though, right? I don't know. Right, well, uh, anyway, I'm... want to see if... No. Okay. So, that didn't happen how it... So, yeah, so the lava needs to drop on top of... The lava needs to drop on top of the water. So you need the water down at the bottom. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, so that now means that This is where the lava's gonna fall, right? Ah! I'm an idiot! I didn't put the signs in place, but this is okay. I put one of the signs in place, okay? Don't question it. Think this fixes it? Maybe it doesn't. Hold on. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think... Hoppers underneath to collect. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh... So the water needs to flow... Yeah, okay, so the water needs to flow from the side. So hold on, hold up the phone. Like that kind of thing, right? But the f like, so basically what we could do there, actually, I don't like this. 
There we go. Um, we can get rid of that. And have the water flowing underneath. Because we already know that the water will flow in quicker. All right? So that needs to flow in. Then once I break that line, then that primes the whole thing. Right? And the water won't be able to escape from that. We just stand here. Just brrr, mine. Nice and easy. Uh, so let's put our uh, hoppers in. Oh, but I need to do them backwards. as well. I hate doing this sort of stuff on stream. I'm sure you're all aware. Do I have... I do. Perfect. I think this should work. I mean, this is like the bare basics of redstone here. Like, but I mean, it's not even redstone. It's just a farm. Uh, and then I need to break. First off, I want that one to go there. Uh, do I know to have another signpost? I do. I've got one here. Okay. And then, pretty much, we go... Okay. It's redstone, because hoppers. Right? Right? Okay, so that is collecting the, um, what's it it's there? It, it might be a little bit useless towards the back because it generates the hot, it, you only need it like three in length, but oh well, it doesn't matter. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get rid of that. Then I'm going to put a platform here so I can stand right there. And we will do... Oh, we got loads more cobblestone here, though. So I'm making a cobblestone generator for something that we actually don't need. But I, just having this is going to be handy anyway. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. We, 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 we've got a stack of droppers there. So I am... Do I want to do the full stack of droppers now? No, I want to do... Stack of dispensers. That was what we were aiming for. So, I mean, I've got all the cobblestone that I need, but I'm making a cobblestone generator and putting that there is going to be way more handy. And I guess we can do the rest with the droppers themselves. Oh, we got a spare dropper. Whoops, my bad. Okay, so yeah, we just need the dispensers. So we're going to need a lot of crappy bows. Uh, and do you know what I'm going to do whilst I'm here? We're going to actually generate some cobblestone because I just blew through it all in like an instant. I 
don't know why, but I'm very paranoid that I'm losing a lot of cobble there. Yeah, and then that can be like a double chest or something. Uh, for the time being, it will be a single chest. All of the crap that I just picked up can go back in there. There we go. So yeah, if I if I really wanted glass bottles in there, what else don't I need? I'm I'm immediately blind to everything that I've got that I don't need in my inventory right this second. Smithing table, don't need that. I'm gonna put the stone back and the minecart. You know, I'll put that in there as well. The hoppers can go back in here. I definitely feel like bits of it is getting burnt by the by the I don't know, one. Yeah, so that it does get picked up. So we've got three in there at the moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we lost one. So we do lose a little bit of cobblestone, but oh well, it's not the end of the world. Unless it got in my inventory. No, it didn't get in my inventory. So I mean, yeah, I mean, th this is, you know, cobblestone generator. There we go. Cool. Made one. I finally made one of these. I always said I was going to do it. I never did. I, I've never made one of these before. Jim's first uh, server was the only one with a stone generator. That's kind of funny. Like, I, I tend not to need need it because I'm always mining stone up anyway, right? But I don't know. Just having that there is is just a handy little contraption. Look. Okay. Well, anyway. At some point, I will AFK there and, uh, you know, just, just get it going. This server might need one. Maybe. It's just, like, really handy. But then, obviously, you've got to be very careful if you do AFK because you don't want to destroy your pick. Spawn never has stone in storage, really. That dead easy to make as well, right? Like, they're super easy. Like, that was, like, the easiest... Thing I've ever created. It's dead simple, it, but I never do it. I never, ever, ever, ever do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm also going to drop off that. Actually, no, the water bucket can go back in here, so I know where it is. Uh, I've got stone pressure plates in my inventory randomly. I don't want to put stone pressure plates in there, I don't think. Okay, so we've got the droppers. Uh, what should we work on next? Shall we work on... I'll tell you what, let's go and get the wood for all of the wood that we need. So let's go and start chopping those down. Uh, I am going to put the gold digger away. And swap that in with the silky smoothie stuff. That's a tree building kit in there. I should probably turn that green actually. Let's turn that green so I know what that is. Tree building kit. Uh, I think it's two sticks for one item, right?
There we go. There we go. So we've 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 got my green kit. So this is my tree building kit, right? At the moment, it's focused on the birch leaves, but that will change. Like I, I will have to interchange that depending on what I'm building. Okay, cool. So we've got a stone generator there, also cobblestone generator, because effectively all you need to have like stone or cobblestone is just change your pick. <laughs> dead simple right so so you can make stone if I wanted to or I can make cobblestone nice and easy I don't think I'll need as much stone it's mainly the cobblestone that I kind of need but it's quicker to mine stone than it is to mine uh, cobblestone right so cobblestone has a quicker timer do you know what I need to make this faster a beacon that's what I need I need a beacon with insta mine and then brr, 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 and you'll be able to make that quicker. But whatever. It's fine. You know, it's absolutely whatever. Uh, do I want this here? I don't think I do. So I'm going to take this down. Oh, I'm going to regret doing that because that was my template for something. And yeah, but it's fine. Well, uh, I'll be able to recreate that, I think. I hope maybe. Probably not. The only reason I wanted it was because I wanted the redstone from it and it's not actually doing anything there. It's on the VOD. Yeah, it is. <laughs> what I really should have done, I should have built it in creative. That's what I should have done. But I was just messing around with something and yeah, whatever. It's fine. It is what it is. If I can't remember, I'm sure I'll be able to... It's not a difficult concept, to be fair. It was a matter of a dropper has an item inside the dropper, the comparator, like a four-way signal of T uh, flip-flop kind of thing, either on or off, and then the redstone comparator feeds into the redstone torch, which activates the freaking train track. So you can, at a hit of a button, say, that train's going in that direction or that train's going in that direction. That's all that is. It's not. It's nothing difficult, right? It's not complicated redstone. I was just messing around because I had an idea. Uh, but that, actually, I think that idea was for what we're doing now, but um, I've changed my mind. Um, so the idea, like, everything has changed a little bit. Uh, I've got spare droppers there as well. I'm going to keep the spare droppers in there as kind of like overflow. Okay, so what 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 are we going to make next with the... we got like a spare rail as well. I'll put that in there too. What can we make next? Do you know what we should do? We should get some powered rails going. Um... I'm trying to think the best way to get powered rails. We need gold. Uh, so maybe it's a trip to the nether. And then we can get the quartz for the observers and the comparators. So let's go and do that. So we'll get some gold and um, quartz. Golden quartz from the nether. Okay. And we're just, we're just going to go ham with it. Who's that? Sorry, bear with me. Um, sorry, I'm just reading something. Bear with me.
Okay. Alright. Sorry about that. Um, I needed to answer someone's question. Um, okay. So, we'll start going with this again. We'll get the lava levels back up. Seeing as I've used my uh, lava supply. Um, so I said quartz, that was what we were going to go and mine. Quartz and gold for the powered rails. So let's go and do that. Uh, I don't have any gold outfits, so piglins might be interesting. Yeah, I've got nothing. Do have a little bit of blackstone, but nothing. Okay, the lag spikes. Um, I'm, there's a hoglin over there as well. I think the best way for me to do this is to... There's a... No, did I? I must have uh, captured him. I didn't... I thought they despawned. Oh, I'm trapped on the soul sand. That's fine. So, what we could do is I could walk around the surface and see if we can pick off as much as possible. Or we could just like mine in a straight line kind of thing. The problem is with the surface is that you've got these guys that are just going to murdificate me. Um, so we want quartz and... Gold, right? That's kind of like our main thing. I'm thinking we just go for the surface gold. So like all of these little nooks here. And hope that they've got some big veins. Golden quartz. See either that or we strip mine. At some point, I'll probably redesign this nether as well. TNT to mine. I don't really have a reliable source for TNT. Otherwise, I, otherwise I absolutely 100% would do that. But then you've also got, on the flip side of TNT, right, you've got to make sure that now. Okay, that's why I'm hurting. Right. Okay, maybe I do need gold. Okay. Oh, you dick. Give me that. Oh, he put them on the... Hawk. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna put on my those golden boots, which means I don't have feather falling anymore, right? Unless oh no, I've got feather falling on those. Yeah, perfect. Just so that I'm not gonna get bothered by them. We'll put those in there. Do I seriously not have any backup boots? Wombo uses the best words always. Uh, I'm just going to put, like, all of my nether stuff in here for the time being. Uh, eh. Yeah, probably. Like, there's not much durability. How do I get my durability figures to pop on? Um, what is that? I know there's a way that you can make your durability show up. Hold shift. No. 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 There's like a command for it. It's like F3 and something. F3 and Q maybe? Um, let's have a look. Show chunk boundaries. That's G. Ugh, give me that back. 
Open Game Switcher, F3 and F4. I need to remember that one as well, I always forget. Uh, reload resource packs, now show this list. Um, pause on lost focus, cycle previous game mode, start, stop profiling, copy entity and block data to keep clipboard. Advanced tool tips, F3 and H, we'll go with that. There we go. F3 and H, thanks, Cyan. I found it out myself, but that is correct. So the main thing I'm after is the gold. Like these gold nugget things, but uh, I do want quartz as well. I do have a bit of quartz, I believe. How much gold do you reckon I should get? I need to be careful of like drops like this as well when I'm in the nether. It's not, wouldn't be the first time that I've fallen to my doom in the nether. Like that is certain death. I do have an elytra though, you idiot. You've got an elytra, get the freaking rockets out. You've got a bunch, get them ready, just in case you decide you're going to fall to death. Then you can activate your elytra and fly away. Do it right, Womble, do it right, okay. Yeah, the uh, gold doesn't seem to be... can't believe you don't have a gold farm yet. Yeah, I, well, I don't have any sort of farms, really. Not, not proper farms. I haven't really been focused on farms in general. I've just been, like, enjoying slowly playing the game. Like, I, I'm not rushing to get, like, ultimate... all the ultimate farms. I'm just enjoying playing the game, which is nice. So, yeah, I haven't felt like the need to get like mega farms or anything. I don't even have like a general mob farm kind of thing, you know what I mean? I know you're poking. Oh, I know. I'm gonna justify myself anyway. Uh, I, ha I have built um, gold farms though in the past. Different types of gold farms. What might be quicker, actually, is uh, to get zombified piglins to attack us uh, and just build in a farm like that, maybe. Because I've got looting and smite, right? But I also want the quartz here. Yeah. Taking care of things before time. So yeah, see you in a few. Okay, no worries, Buzz. Thanks for sticking around for a little bit. No. Stop it. Give me that back. Dick. Eating all my gold. Gassed over there, right in the distance. Don't know if you can see it. Of course you can. If I can see it, you guys can. I probably don't need too much gold, but uh, I'm gonna mine as much as I can be bothered. To be fair, it's probably the quartz that I'm gonna need the most, right?
The great thing with quartz, though, is that they do have bigger veins than the gold. Oh, what is that? Oh! Well, I said I wanted gold, chat, right? We said we wanted gold. Well, there's a bastion over there. Am I really equipped to take on a bastion, though? That's the big question. Protection 3, Fire Protection 4, and Blast Protection 2. Well, Blast Protection's useless. Do it. Mm. Okay, so this is going to be the thing if I am going to do this. I'm going to go and bank everything I've got. Against a brute? Hell no. I feel like I'm probably going to be really, really, really cringy with it and be extra careful if I did want to do it. So it'd be a matter of like breaking my way in slowly and getting taking out all the brutes safely. So scumming it, basically. Um, but let's bank... I'm just going to stand over here for a sec. Let's bank everything we've got first. And then I'll probably... Probably... Oh, where are my chest plates? Hmm. If it's close quarters, I definitely don't want the elytra on, right? Um, I might make another shulker. Actually, no, we can use that as a... what's it? What don't we need in terms of, like, tools-wise? Probably not. We don't need an axe, do we? So we'll bank that. We'll definitely take the bow. We'll definitely take the sword. Do I need a shovel? No. So it's just going to be my pick. And we've got backup picks. Oh, wow. We've got three fortune picks. That was an oversight. Maybe I should have done a backup silky pick. Silk touch pick. But that's not too difficult to get, to be honest. Yeah. Ow! What? Why? Is that because I'm opening the shulker boxes and they're pissed at me? They don't like me opening shulker boxes, right? I thought it was just chests, but... Obviously not. So they don't like shul us opening shulker boxes as well. That's annoying. Well, it might be the ender chest, actually. Could be the ender chest. Golden carrots. So I've got food. I've got fireworks. Uh, let's go and get those... Only hoppers and droppers and dispensers are safe. Hoppers, droppers, and dispensers. Okay, good to know. I mean, I don't care. The end of the they're not like a super hard hitting, uh, but I will take the pro. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, no, there is no protection five, is there? Okay, well, we'll take the protection chest plate, and that's what we'll go around with the... in the area. And uh, I'm going to have to risk my silk touch pick. We'll risk the bow as well. You, everything here is okay to be risked. I'm going to take a couple of extra ender pearls. Oh, we've got some more nether quartz there as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
I'm gonna put my food in my stuff right there. Uh, I might activate the shield. I tend not to use the shield, I'll be honest. Okay, let's, um, let's go and take out a bastion. I will do my best. This is like famous last moment there, right? Oh, I feel like that went in the, um, the lava. It did. Where was it? Of course, because I came out of the nether, it's de-rendered. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to park up up here. I don't remember whether or not I've been in one of these. I probably have. Probably have been in one of these before. But we said we wanted the gold, right? So I don't have any fire breathing potions, which is annoying. I don't know how this is structured. I think that there I could probably get on top of without the brutes getting me. But we I what I need to do, I need to aggro the brutes so that we can find where they belong. Um I've got the extra protection there. We've got the ender pearls. Now the brutes are allergic to fire damage, aren't they? can't remember how these are structured. Oh, the elytra I want to put in here. I don't want to risk the elytra. And because I've put the elytra away, I'm going to put the rockets away as well. Piglins burn. Yeah, uh, the brutes burn, right? I am absolutely going to try and cheese this as much as I can. I haven't done one of these in a while. Aha! So this is the big entrance. It has, it has legit been a very long time since I did one of these, so I need to be like extra careful. Okay, so that's the loot right down at the bottom. This is a big one. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually go across over to there first. This could be a mistake. Oh, yep, yep, there's one. Oh, Jesus Christ. <gasps> no! Oh, quick, pow, pow, pow. Ooh. That's why you need the... That's why you need a... Um... Yeah, I told you. That's why I need the Elytra, because that escape there is... I, I needed to fly out rather than do whatever. Hopefully everything there, though, is safe. Um, we shall see. I do have... I didn't have anything in my inventory that I wasn't prepared to lose, right? So we have, like, all of these sort of things already in my inventory. My my helmet is a little bit of annoyance if that has gone in the lava. However, you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, I don't have a subtouch pick now, though. So we do need to get one of those. 
uh, which I believe one of these is Silk Touch. There we go, that's your Silk Touch. Maybe that's what I should have taken with me. I should have taken the, the Iron Silk Touch pick rather than my Super Precious Silk Touch. And my sword is also something else that... Um, helmet, there we go. I only tried the Bastion after having Netherite armor. Netherite doesn't give you any extra protection though. <sighs> Brutes do hit hard. I've, I've done, I've done the, um, I've done them before. My mistake there was I'd found a way in and I was safe. And then instead of being safe, I decided to be risky and I enderpearled to an unsafe location. That was my mistake. I just couldn't remember how the actual um, bastion had been created. Now is the moment of truth to see whether all of my stuff... I managed to escape it. It looks like we're good. Uh, it looks like I can find a lot of my things. Oh no, definitely I've lost some things, but not everything. Yeah, some things will have dropped in. Right, let's see what we've lost. Ow. Do not crash and burn and die now. Alright, this is safe. I know that this is a safe area here. But just to be on the safe side. What did I... L okay, so I, I didn't lose my armor. I lost my boots by the looks of it. Oh no. Yeah, but I saved my boots. So actually, my armor's fine. Um... Oh, yes, no way. I saved... My bow got saved. So I lost my sword, which is a little bit annoying, actually. So, um, I did lose my sword. Um, that's, that's slightly frustrating. But other than that, like... You know, I've, um... You know, I, I've got the majority of my stuff back. This is like when you died to lava and you had your one tried and... Um, I nearly lost everything though. Like, I, I nearly lost everything. I was in lava and I ender pearled out. That was, that was the clutch there, was the ender pearling out. Um... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, Um... Let's just swap that out for the time being. Yeah, I ender pearled out. If I'd... Oh! Ender chest. If I'd have, like, kind of angled that enderpearl a little bit better, uh, I think I could have saved more things, but, yeah. Wasn't meant to be. So I still think I can do this. <laughs> but I've had one close call. I've had one close call. Good morning, Kev. I still think I can do this, though. Like, I, I just... I don't want to just give up. I'm, I, I don't want one death to be the thing that, you know, breaks me, right? Okay. I won't be at D&D today. I'm, um... I'm sicker than a dog. Oh, okay. No worries, man. Like, that's fine. Everyone's getting ill recently. It really sucks. Yeah, take it easy, man. You got about an hour left, yeah. I was puking my guts out yesterday. That sucks. You are not wanted. Go away. Go away. Oh, 
I really wish I had my sword. That was the, that's the one thing that I'm like, damn, I really wish I had, but I don't have. I don't want to hit the zombie piglins, because that would be very bad. Okay, this is not where I want to enter. I want to enter above. And then drop down. Oh, no. That's not safe. Do you know what we could do? I could entice them out by, like, constantly opening and closing my ender chest. Also, one of the ender chests can go away in there. Um, let's also not be a fool. And put, say, like, all of my gear that I'm not currently using away. Whilst I'm in here, actually, now I'm thinking about it, um, I want my diamond helmet on, because that has protection 3. Oh, so, so does the golden helmet, but the golden helmet isn't actually doing anything. Also, let's, yet again, swap that out. And we'll minimize the risk. This might take a while, like, this j legit might take a while. I am going to swap out the Silk Touch Iron Pick with my Silky Smooth, because I can pick up my ender chest or any ender chests with this there is my gold digger as well that can go in there too so there we go so I'm not effectively I'm all I'm I've got spare pants uh, my I guess the biggest thing is my boots and helmet but we can make those fairly quickly. So, again, it's worth the risk. And the bow as well. Again, again, can make it fairly quickly. So I'm not... Too worried. Okay, that should be... Safe to enter. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, you see the problem with these, like, the the traps that you've got to kind of avoid is going and doing it in a way that... Yeah, you see, I don't actually have a way of hurting them apart from my bow. That's gonna... that's the biggest challenge, so I think actually I'm gonna drop the shield. And then we, we have to use blocks as at, to our advantage. Make sure we've got an escape and always have blocks at the ready. Which is not necessarily the way that I normally play. Sorry to interrupt, but can I ask you a question real quick? You can ask a question. Anyone, it's free to ask a question. Absolutely. You might not like the answer, but welcome in. Welcome in, Angela. Yep, 
Yeah, you might not like the answer, but you can ask a question. Kind of foreseeing what this is going to entail. Oh. Okay, so I want that one next. Any question can be asked, but some have consequences. I was wondering if you you are interested in Twitch customized graphics. If you aren't, please don't be mad at me and don't ban me. Okay, so here's the thing. First off, before I do ban you, um, you've said two things in my chat before you start promoting your own stuff, right? That is incredibly rude. Like, any business that you're going to get from that, if you're genuinely serious about the craft that you're creating, which you're probably not, you're probably just, you know, throwing things out there and you don't care about banning or whatever like that. You've said two things before you've got to know me. Why would I be interested in ever coming up with, like, some form of business arrangement with someone that has, like, said literally two questions in my chat? I'm asking that as a general thing before I do remove you. Like, this is your chance to kind of, like, save yourself here. Why would I be interested in ever making a business partnership? Why would anyone be interested in that? Business and partnerships and things like that, Twitch is all about interpersonal connectivity with genuine people, right? Um, there is, like, for channels to grow and thrive, it's all about personality. It's all, that. that's what it's about. Like, you, you want to get ahead in Twitch, you want to get ahead in anything like that, you need to have a very good personality, have a really strong relationship with the viewer base, with the people that you're building a community around, and the central part of that is the streamer. I realize that sounds very egotistical, but it's true, right? So, why would I want to, like, have any form of Twitch graphical, um, like, customized graphics on my channel by someone I, I've only ever had two, uh, what, two sentences with? When did you create your account? The 10th of November as well. So this tells me that, you know, you followed my channel. Can I ask you a quick question? Which I knew what the question was going to be. And then it's like, hey, look at me. No, no, no. That's not how this works. That's not how Twitch works. It It's never worked like that. You can absolutely make a living of doing customized graphics on Twitch, absolutely, but you're not going about it the right way. Don't do it that way. That's rude. That's coming into someone's house and saying, hey, look what I have. Look at my house. L look at what my wallpaper is like. Instead of like coming in and like getting to know the person's that you've walked into the house with, like, chatting and, you know, having fun with them, having a joke, having, you know, getting to know the people, the other people in the room and things like that, you've immediately gone said, hey, everyone, look at me. It's narcissistic, it's fucking creepy, and you've probably already skipped on to the next channel. Now I will ban you. Get out of here. I don't care. I don't care about your shit graphics. Piss off. Now I will ban you. You are removed. You have lost the privilege to respond because you didn't respond. I realize like the they they're just bots really at this point. It's it it's just rude. It's just rude. Like we just it just needs to stop. <laughs> I'm I'm getting I'm getting frustrated by these graphic artists. Graphic artists that are popping up on Twitch like everywhere. It's getting annoying. I don't know how other people are finding it, but I'm I'm getting annoyed by it, you know? You know? Do you know what I mean? People like to get to know each other in the streaming business. Absolutely, it's a personality thing. Like, it, it it's all about personality. Like, they've came into my channel and asked, like, immediately, they've came in with the perception of, well, this is someone who is on Twitch, therefore he wants to make money and wants to... No, no, no. Like, if you spend more than five minutes with me, you know that that's generally not the case. I've been streaming for, what, seven years now? Um, I 
absolutely, I, I don't want this to be a business. This isn't a business to me. This is something where I can sit back and chat and chill with, you know, people I like. I can't remember where the gold is. I got distracted and I can't remember where the gold is. And now I've walled myself in and I'm lost. It's all Angela's fault. <laughs> it's probably not even their name. Also, something else. It's really, it's really annoying me. And a lot of these people that, um, yeah, exactly, Cyan, like, and I think that's the majority of people on Twitch. Like, I've never, ever felt the need to try and publicize or promote myself. I, I don't want to. I don't want to advertise. If people, the way that I like how this stream is, people randomly stumble across it, we chit chat for a while and then we go our separate ways. It's great. Like, I don't need to advertise myself. Why would I want that? I can't remember where the gold is. Can't remember where it was. Yeah. There's definitely Piglin still around. It's like, without even trying to get to know the person they're trying to effective, effectively create a business partnership. They're, they're trying to do a business partnership, right? Without understanding the business that they're trying to partner with. It, it makes no sense whatsoever. And I don't understand why it's suddenly become a thing. I guess it's because... I, th I think, I think what's happening, there is a bigger corp company that has noticed that Twitch recently has got incredibly uh, popular and um, they're like, oh, we can make some other people, small people are making money, let's make money. So now they're hiring like these, um, they're hiring people basically to say, hey, why, well, why don't we just get some stock footage graphic artists? They won't know any better, they're dumb. Let's, uh, let's go and get them. And we'll try and get make some easy money from this. It's 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 a scam. It's a scam. Absolutely. And it's disgusting. Oh, I found it. It's directly above me. Ha! More gold. More gold. More gold. Okay. I can't hear. I can. There's angry piglins somewhere. There's piglin brutes angrily, like, in that direction there. And I kind of want to entice them out so that they come running at me. And the only way I can think of doing that is by placing down gold and mining it, because that pisses them off. Mm. Right, let's um let's put things in the ender chest. So I'm going to play a little bit of a risk game. Going to keep those. But yeah, no, it's just getting annoying now. It's just annoying. Like, we... <sighs> ah. Do not fire that at the... See, I, it, I think the biggest challenge that I'm having with this at the moment is the fact that they're in the way. But look what I've just found, though. Okay. 
Okay, they should just burn to death. How are you not dead yet? Yeah, so the zombified pig, because I don't want to hit them. I really don't want to hit them. He's dead. How much health do the piglin brutes have? Because they've just hit, had two, three shots with a power five bow and flames. Like, and they survived that. Like, they were able to tank that really well. Hmm. Okay, so they can't path up here, so that's good. I don't hear any more brutes. But that doesn't mean that they're not around, so I still need to be careful. Twenty-five hearts, so fifty HP. They've got twenty-five hearts. No wonder these things are freaking challenging. They do a lot of damage as well, because they've got the axe, which is the hardest hitting object in the game, I guess. I have to be careful with that, because... Okay, so I think all of this area here has been saved. The only things I can see are zombie piglins. But I don't want to go deeper in without making sure that it is 100% secure. Um, this bit over there? Yeah, I have a feeling that that's also good. Whoops. Okay, so this, th so this is all safe down here. This this whole area is safe. Um, I need to find a chest because I want some of the good loot. But I have saved this entire area. Random question: Is a villager bell redstone activated? You can activate a re um, a villager bell with redstone with a redstone signal. Yes. Okay, so this is now this is now clear. So all of that area that I've just done is clear of piglins. So let's move on to the next bit. This might take a while, by the way, but um, nevertheless. Now the problem with this is it's really going to be it's going to be difficult to kind of like judge where they kind of go. I don't think they're mad at me. But I will let them up and see if they do come and attack. No, they're not mad. I just wanted them to move out the way. Okay, so this is where it gets dangerous because... We've effectively got, like, multiple routes to me now. I think the most powerful thing I've got is my blocks. I want to be able to block. Okay. Alright, we can unblock that. So now I've got multiple routes back. Well... Supposedly. Okay, so this is now uh, an area that is fine to mine away. Do you know what I really want? I want pig step in here. Woo! That's a lot of golden, uh, golden carrots. This is a lot of uh, 
Oh, we got soul speed boots as well. Ancient debris too. Wow, that's the first ancient debris I've got. Get in the achievements now. But no. Pick step. That's annoying. Okay, let's get my loot box. And we're going to slowly work our way down, right? Like, that's that's the plan. And I think if we go at such a, a slow pace, we should do that. We should be able to do this fairly safely. I'm a little bit worried about the big chamber, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'll have to pretty much play it the same way. Why do I have a pork chop? I don't want a pork chop. Play it the same way that I would normally play it. Yeah, there's so much loot that you get in these places. I guess it's got to be worth it, right? Because it's got to be worth it because it's di it's difficult to loot. So, you can activate a villager bell with redstone, correct. How much time do we have left? Got a little bit of time. Okay, so next plan is to, I guess, open this up. Right, so that's where we got killed last time. It was those brutes that we activated effectively now what we could do is i could mine through the wall that's probably going to be safer however if we're smart we're not going to have to do that we can just follow our way down right eh, like that sort of thing right so now there's only one path that we can take Okay, so I want to make sure that there is an escape for me. So I am actually going to put this back there. Which means right now... Well, actually, I'll tell you what. I want to make sure that there is that there is an escape. So I, if I get to here, I'm just going to be able to ender pearl up that way, right? So that's my escape. We'll use the ender pearl. I can't hear any. There's definitely a piglin somewhere. I heard the snort. So we're just going to block. Okay. So this is all fine. This is all safe, this this direction, which means that that's safe as well, but that is actually blocked off. So I, I am going to just, like, block that off completely so I don't get confused. Also, I'm going to add safety rails because I'm a wimp. Uh... And there is a way to make it spam faster. Yes, there is. But we you know, that wasn't the question that he asked. Which is why I didn't say that. Okay, so we could get I mean we could just go straight down to there. There is the problem with the uh with the lava flowing. That wasn't there before. I think I must have broken something. Um is there another They can't reach me where I am right now, so they still can't reach me from where I am right now. So I'm just like poking my way out.
just poking my way out, seeing if I can see anything. I think they can reach me from here, actually, can't they? But if I came up here, they wouldn't actually be able to get to me. Okay, so there's got to be a path that leads over to there. I can't hear any piglins. This will tell me if they're around. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. What is that? Here, I'm just going to box myself in while I watch that. Most annoying redstone noise. A bell. Did you need to... Did you really need to uh, post that? I mean, that it, it is the most annoying redstone noise that you can make. Uh, with the bell facing an infinite repeater. Uh, an infinite observer, yes. There's definitely a piglin somewhere. I can't hear the br Do the brutes make a different noise, don't they? Or do they make the same as the... Okay, this is a bit wider, so I don't mind poking into this. Oh, there's definitely piglin brutes somewhere. I can hear them. So there's brutes down at the bottom. Hmm. How to do this? Because he asked about bells, but he didn't ask about how to make bells sound annoying. He was asking whether you could do a signal to a bell or whether a bell could be uh, powered by a signal. You just, yeah. I guess, yeah. We shall just do that, just to make that a little bit quicker for me. It's quicker for the piglins as well, but... And then just pop. That's safety, okay? So that's safety. So don't panic, you got this, Wumble. I, did I block this route off here? Yeah, so I'm not going to get surprised by that. I am going to block that off, so we've only got one entrance and exit. Where are they? Sure, I can hear them. I need to turn up my uh, headphones. Practical application, I see. To their fullest capabilities, as they can be a great pranking tool. And they're not a great pranking tool. Okay, this is where the brutes are. Is this just normal blackstone, by the way? I, it doesn't look like normal blackstone. It is normal blackstone. Oh, God, I, it's been a while since I've seen normal blackstone. Right, shush, Minecraft music, I'm listening. 
that direction. That direction. This is actually properly quite scary. Okay. So it wasn't down here. I don't want the gilded blackstone, I don't know why I keep picking it. So I have a feeling the piglins, wherever they are, are not down in that direction. Now, does this link in with that? Maybe there. So I'm now going to block this off, because I'm not entirely convinced that that is 100% safe, but we are going to go down this route now. Oh, okay. So it leads to the same place. I, th I thought it did. Okay, so that is pretty much all safe in that direction. So... Let me see if I can figure out where... So this is the direction where I believe the brutes are then. Yes, definitely. Definitely in that direction. There he is. I knew he was somewhere around here. I knew that I know I could hear one. I just didn't know where it was. Did you drop anything, sir? If you did, it's in my inventory. No, I don't think you did. I think I I can hear another snort. I realize I am cheesing this quite considerably. They're like a down. So what I'm worried about now is that actually there's another chamber, a room above me. And uh, that's where the piglin brute is and he's going to jump on top of me. And I believe there probably is, right? So what I want to do is go back up this way get up to the top where it's safe uh, block that off that is blocked off and I kind of want to head mine in this direction there it is there it is I knew it okay right now I need to save that And then we'll work our way, because it's easier going down than what it is going up. I, I, I find it easier to fight. Just going to add that there. Can I reach that? I can. I don't need the arrows. I can smelt the helmet down. Where is the, uh, the other chest? It's there. 
Block of iron, wow. Banner pattern, magma cream, I'll take those. I guess I'll take the string as well. Definitely take the block of gold. Still no pig step. Now that leads me to question, because I think I can hear up here whether this all links in actually, doesn't it? Was this my original? Aha! Uh -huh. Hello! It was my original, it's my original, uh, what's it? Okay. All this is now safe up here. Okay, so this whole area is now safe for me to loot if I wanted to. Uh, do I want to take, I, I do kind of want to take the Gilded Blackstone because it's quite a nice decoration block and you can only get it here. You can't craft the Gilded Blackstone, right? That being said, I can't think of anything that would that I'd be able to utilize the Guild of Blackstone with. And I'm also gonna take these as well. Oh, so many arrows. I really wish you could sell the arrows to villagers, but that's not how it works, unfortunately. You buy the arrows from villagers. Cell speed 2 as well. Not too bad. I realise we've got no music on now, but I'm intensely focused on this. I don't know when would be a good time to kind of like quit, but I've only got four blocks of gold, so that doesn't feel like enough gold to me. Aha! Hello! So, I could hear those, and I thought they were brutes. I do have this feeling that there are no more brutes, at least on this part. I have a feeling that they would have tried to come and run and kill me by this point. Okay, we can break that, because that's now all safe. Now, I could be very risky here and end a pearl over to there. Um, but it's a matter of like, how, how, how risky do I want to be now? Like, how, like when, when is it that I'm going to cut my losses? Because I'm definitely not 100%. I'm definitely not 100% when it comes to, uh, like, gear readiness for this. But I do want those two gold blocks. Okay, there's still more piglins around. Now, this is risky, because if they've got bows, I'm screwed. Not bows. I know, I know, whatever piglins have. There's loads of them in there, I can hear them. But I have a feeling that all of the piglin brutes are 
cleared out from that area anyway. Do we want to go and loot some more, or shall we call it a day? The thing is, if I call it a day on this, effectively we've got, you know, we, we, we've still got like another area that we can loot later on down the line, right? Or, um, we could keep going, like for a little bit longer, and risk it. Risk it for the brisket. But that being said, there's not really that much more that I kind of want. I'm gonna turn the music back on. So where is that in way that way that we made in to here? Let's just have a look. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we're dealing with. I do not see I do I see one there. Missed him. I don't see any brutes other than like a few. Like there's two, two that I can see. Oh, I missed him again. Let's see if I can get him. No. He's there. Ugh, they keep moving. Not gonna get him. Um. I mean, okay, so here's the thing. There is a big gold pile down at the bottom of here, and I reckon a few chests, like, probably throughout the whole thing. Now, normally, what I would do, I would just get an elytra, go down to the bottom, block it all off so that it's all safe, mine out the gold, and then elytra out. Like, that's how I would do this. But I kind of like doing it the way that I've been doing, like, the sneaky peeky safe way. It feels funner, I think, because I'm kind of, like, trying to be strategic. And there's probably a lot more than just those two brutes. We've de There's at least two brutes left. We know that. Oh, hello. Yeah, so it's like, there's at least two brutes left themselves. I don't, haven't, I don't know if there are any more than that. Uh, it's the brutes that make it difficult. I think I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it. I think we're gonna because I've I've got pretty much what I wanted from there. I didn't get pig step. Would have liked pig step. But we can always come back another day for pig step, right? We've got a lot of gold. We've got a lot of... That was our main focus, and I've definitely got distracted, right? Yeah, let's, uh, let's get my gear, and we'll go back. And we'll come back here another day. But especially because it's nearly D&D &D time as well. So I kind of... One death wasn't, wasn't terrible. And to be fair, I think that death was just because... Lack of... You know, I, I was being a little bit too bold. I wasn't being careful enough. Got complacent. I hit lag at the wrong time then. I was absolutely certain that I was going to get that shot. But apparently not. That was fun though. I enjoyed that. It's a shame about my sword, but um, that's what I'm going to focus on getting next is another looting three sword. That's going to be like my next focus. And maybe, maybe the next kind of like big focus. Oh, 
I really wish I had more storage for netherite stuff. <laughs> maybe get rid of that block and put a barrel in there, maybe. <laughs> I've got Splash Potion of Weaknesses. Cool. Okay, let's put some nether stuff in there. Hmm. Last of my coffee. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna drink that now. That was definitely fun. Okay, so why, why why did I go into the nether in the first place? <laughs> it's like because I was after quartz and gold, right? So let's maybe actually get my um, quartz and gold stuff sorted. Gold digger. I'm gonna get my silky skilled silk. I might put mending on that iron pick so that we can reuse it because it's quite use it useful for those sort of trips when I don't want to get rid of my goal, uh, my diamond pick, right? So we're gonna fortune the nether quartz we found and we need to make a new sword. Also, um, I think we put these in the furnace, right? To get more gold. And that can go in the furnace. Soul speed golden boots. I'm probably going to smelt those down. And we'll smelt that down as well. Soul speed 2, though. I'm curious to maybe put that... How many levels of soul speed are there? Is the 3... Ooh, 28. 28 levels there, that's a lot. Three, okay. Well, soft speed two, I'll put it on my main boots. I really wish you could transfer that onto the book, but you can't, it's the other way around. Chests can go away. Now is a matter of just like clearing up my inventory. Why can't I put dirt in there? Because there's no space. Mumble. No space. Got no space. It's also the only enchantment I don't have yet. Yeah, because it's difficult to come by, right? Like it's not easy to get your hands on it. Click, 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 click. There we go. Okay, so that will create loads of gold ingots for us. I'm going to put the gold away. I do actually have a little bit of extra gold there as well, so if I wanted to, wanted to, I could use that. I feel like it was probably quicker just to get gold from the overworld. But the main reason was for the quartz here. Actually, you don't have that much. The ancient debris, that's going to go in my treasure chest.
Iron can go in there. Alright, so the rest of this is semi-junk, I guess. Yeah, the rest of that is kind of like semi-junk. Chains can be useful for the iron. Bane of Arthropods, Golden Sword. Why have I not smelted that down? I will smelt that down another day. I've also got some gold leggings and things that we can probably smelt down too. I do want to make sure that I've got like some golden attire there that I can keep for excursions in the nether if I did want that. There's a lot of things here that I need to, like, break down and recycle. Uh, we'll put that in there, that in there. Nice. Okay, so we've got the majority of the uh, gold smelted. Put the gold in there. I can never remember which way around it goes. I think it's that way around. The arrows can go away. I hate the fact that I just I'm just collecting arrows. I I really wish you could break them down for like sticks or something, so or like the ramp raw materials. I really wish you could do that in vanilla. Got crossbows there, which you can't use for anything either. Bit of a waste. Never know. One day I might decide to make a crossbow. Gilded Blackstone, that can go in here. Banner Pattern Snout and Magma Cream. Magma cream can go in there. Banner pattern snout can go in there. And uh, yeah, I've got everything, which is great. Okay, so now, how am I going to do this? This will help cure my silk touch pick as well. Should we just pillar up? Let's just pillar up. Why am I pillaring all the way up like this? It's dangerous and I shouldn't do it because I want to. This will create... Do you know what I found out the other day? Uh, the copper blocks can be broken down into copper ingots. So now my question is, can you break quartz blocks into quartz pieces, right? Still don't think it's a thing that you can do. I have a feeling that quartz in itself is not something that you can craft. But it'd be, it would be really cool if you could do that. No, you can't, and it stinks. It does stink. I agree. He 
You get quite a lot of levels this way. I forgot how many levels you get from breaking down quartz. I mean, pretty much all this quartz is going to be used in uh, comparators and uh, observers anyway, so. Is there anything else that needs healing? Nope. May as well take it then for my own levels. The levels I lost from uh, fighting the piglins. Okay. Not too bad, I mean, a little bit of quartz, not loads, but enough. Enough for my own purposes. Yeah, I had it the wrong way around. That's not right, that's a whiz. Excellent. Okay, so let's uh, let's make up the beginnings of a new sword because that's kind of like the thing that we lost, which is not something that I can. I'm going to put all of my nether quartz in my redstone box, which has no redstone. Um, so let's go make the beginnings of a new sword, diamond. So we want emeralds for this, so that we can get a couple of stinky swords. I will take two. The reason why I'm going to take two is because potentially we can uh, get the levels. Okay, and I'm after. I'm after. Um, actually, I could do it with the normal sword but we're after looting right so we're after for we're after looting three so i'm literally going to recycle this as many times as i can until i get looting three as an option because that's all i care about at the moment is the looting three gonna power play it a little bit Do we have looting that's sharpness four we could try that one I did have smite on the other one I, I had smite which is pretty good with like zombies and uh, skeletons but and phantoms but not very good on like the majority of mobs uh, so like enderman and things so sharpness is potentially an option that we could go for and just hope it has looting uh, so let's go and get enough levels. So the way that I am going to put all of those swords away, the way that I have been getting levels lately is literally from villager trading. For me, that's like the easiest, most efficient way of getting levels. So yeah, I am gonna, I am gonna save that. Is this the backup axe I'm making? It looks like it. Do I? What do I have here? I've got loyalty, piercing, silk touch, and silk touch. All useless and soul speed. So yeah, all useless in what I'm doing right now. So let's... Um, something else that probably we should be checking as well is the book trades. Uh, here, let's get my axe out and we're literally going to chop down this wood, sell it. I guess the axe is also my primary weapon right now as well, because I don't have any other. That's silk touch. I want the fortune.
How many did we get? We got three saplings from that. Not bad. A lot more leaves on the bigger ones, but um, yeah. You can still end up with a loss of saplings, but it's not like I'm struggling for saplings right now. So when I was planting these trees, I had 14 saplings. We'll see if we can get any more than 14, which I think we will. We'll make a profit on saplings. Janice! 33 months of tier 2 subage. That is ridiculous, Janice. You need to stop. Thank you very much. I did the thing, the level up bazaar. Also, hi. Hi, Janice. How are you? Have you leveled up your character, Janice? And also, actually, Animal, I know I, I know Discount has, because Discount is ever reliable with this sort of thing, right? Like, he's probably just gone out of his way to level up his character nice and easy. Um, Kath's uh, Flint isn't due a level up, so I can forgive Kathbris. You know, ni nice and simple. Uh, by the way, 21 saplings. So from that one tree, I've ended up with more saplings than I planted. I haven't leveled. Yep, didn't think you had. Bruh, I said I did the level up. Did you? If I go on the character sheet and it hasn't leveled up, I'm gonna laugh. It... I don't think it takes that long if you do it on the character thing. Just bear in mind, um, when you do do the level up, um, you have to keep your health as to what it was before, because you don't get the full health back until your long rest. Technically, you don't get the level up until the long, the end of a long rest, but um, if we just do it before the stream starts, then it's easier. If you don't do it before the stream starts, you can't do it during the stream. You have to wait until the next stream. Keep your HP. Yeah, it was... Yeah, you, you had like 3 HP, I think. You don't get that back unless you do a short rest or a, and you use your hit points or you do a long rest, right? And then you get all of it back. You get full health. But yeah, technically you don't get the level up until you've had a long rest. But um, just for convenience sake, so we're not doing it in the middle of the stream, which is kind of what I want to prevent, um, we do it before. So you can use everything that your uh, level up includes, which would be, like for instance, your, uh, like your wild shapes and things. Also, um, Discount if you're around and Janice, I have updated the um, your the amount of animals that you've got available for your wild shape. So they are now it's now actually accurate. It's now actually correct. So you might notice that some animals have changed. So for instance, the dire wolf. I got rid of your dire wolf, and you've just got a normal wolf now. Um, um, because that's actually what you should be able to use instead of the die wolf. Which I realize you used the die wolf at one point. Um, that was a, that was a misstep on my part. Also, the brown bear has been nerfed to the black bear. It's still pretty tanky. It's, it's still a pretty good wild shape to turn into, but it is a lower challenge rating, so it's not as, not as good. At some point, you probably will have seen a brown bear. So when you get up to, I think it's level five or six, when you've got like challenge rating one available for you, you'll be able to use your brown bear. But uh, I don't, I, I forget druids, you know, like I, I really do forget druids, uh, how they work. I, I'm pretty much learning druids like as we play this <laughs> campaign, right? This is the first time I've ever been on a campaign with druids, so 
Um, I'm still, I'm still learning them really. Barbarians are a little bit easier. So, um, same with bards as well. I kind of know bards quite well because I've played bard, I've played a bard myself, and I've been in campaigns with multiple barbarians. Has your potion ran out? Your potion won't run out until like an hour's time. I think you've got that potion for an hour, so you'll still have your plus 25. But if you take a short rest or a long rest or whatever you want to have planned, I don't know, that's when it will run out, right? Yeah, you've got 25 strength, correct. At the moment, you've got your 25 strength. And unfortunately, you didn't get to quite use it to its full extent. I'm 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 a little bit sad about that because that was a that was a good potion. That was an OP potion. Um, um, now there was gonna be something like a fight that was coming up that potentially you could have used it for, but I think you've averted that fight now. Like the for instance the dryad right like you haven't fought the dryad I mean you could still fight the dryad if you wanted to it's kind of up to you but um you probably would have needed it if you were going to fight the dryad because the dryad is a lot more difficult than the goblins like I said you're still welcome to try and kill the dryad if you want to you will see the dryad again well potentially you might not you might just be like oh we've killed the goblins bye. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like if I keep talking, I'm going to give away my secrets. So there we go. From this is why I do the jungle. Like, this is why I do the jungle is because you pretty much get the same yield as what you would in the large uh, spruce. However, uh, the jungle, you know, you don't get as many saplings clogging up your inventory and you don't have to deal with the podzel. So that's why I do. That's why I use jungle wood at the moment for my for my crafting and things like that because we spoke about that at the beginning takes a level in dragon fire adept <laughs> and I said in my research I did the level up and I did it oh you did I did a thing, the level up, huzzah. Oh right, I see, you level, you did say in the sub, I, yeah, yeah, yep, okay. So you've done, you've done your level up, so you're level four, excellent. What, what, how is the level up mechanic on roll 20? Because I haven't used it in a very long time and I realized when I used to use it, you didn't have, it wasn't as good, it wasn't really that good, but I mean, I'm talking, years and years ago kind of thing but i think it's pretty good now right like you can just like hit hit a button and then select what you want from the level up you should just be able to load the level up mechanic which by the way animal if you don't know where that is it should be at the top of your character sheet right next to your name there's like an anvil you hit the anvil and then yeah yeah, it's pretty hand holding. Yeah, which is good. I think I think that's that's good. Also takes a little bit of you learning the mechanic cuz here's the thing. Whenever I did level ups, I always like to do it myself first. Right? So so I'd do it from the player's handbook always. And I would do it manually without like the actual leveling up thing and then I would just input it, customize it. <laughs> that's that's kind, of, that's kind of how I've done level ups in the past really like for me for my characters I just like to do them manually because I like to read the books you have no anvil okay shall I show you where it is before I go on my break let's go and do that let's do that Tales of Mercy let's bring this up Uh, let's get your character sheet out. No. Okay, I think you've broken it. Maybe. You're only level two at the moment. 
What? Hold on a sec. Let me um, let me save this and then I'll show you what I'm looking at. I think you've bro How are you only level two? Two to three. No, you should already be level three. You're going from level three to four. Right. We'll see. We'll see if this works. I don't know what you've done to your what you may call it. Okay. So I'll walk you through what you've got to do. There is an anvil right next to your Path of the Totem Warrior Barbarian t 2. That should be level 3. Has he been level 2 this whole time? No, because his max HP is right. That's definitely level 3 max HP. And he's got three rages, which is level three for a barbarian. So he's got everything else right. It's just it's saying level two, which I'm a little bit confused. Level two, level three. Oh, I see what he's done. He's manually edited it. Right, that's what he's done. You saw him do it, right, chat? So when you hit the cogwheel here, this is you editing everything manually. You don't want to do that. Don't do that, because that's going to confuse the system. Animal, don't do it, because it will confuse the system when you come to do it, right? So you're level 3, hit your anvil there, and it will load up the character Mancer's level up, and it's dead easy from there. Dead easy. Also, on this mode, you can just, like, manually edit your experience when you level it up, because I see you've been doing this here. Uh, you can just manually update your experience. I don't know if that makes sense. I will let you guys you do that. So if you hit that button, it should load the character level up. I think that's unique to you. I don't think that shows me when you're doing it. But it, it's dead easy to do. You just go through it the whole way. Does that make sense, animal? Do you have any questions before I disappear? Oh, I hear... Rolling for HP. He's doing it. He's doing it. You have 26 HP. Remember that. He's doing it. He's doing it. He got an 11. Woo! He got an 11 on his HP. Let's watch him. Let's see if we can figure out what else he's doing. There's Genesis stuff. Uh, that's Buzz doing a dark test. That's me doing some woo, spooky stuff that nobody's allowed to see. Rolling for HP, that was me testing out the character Mancer. So yeah, there we go. He's doing it. Cool. Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. He's figuring it out. He figured it he's gonna figure it out. If you would like to find out whether Animal continues and is able to complete his character's level up, stick around for in like 20 minutes, we'll be playing some Dungeons and Dragons. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Stick around. Stick around, because we will be playing some Dungeons and Dragons very shortly.